Today is a really important day in my instrument training progress because I'm off to the airport to do my instrument cross country. It's a step that you have to take when you get your instrument rating. It basically means flying out to two different airports, planning a route using airways and the whole works. And today I'm gonna to be doing it. So let's get down to the airport and get on my way for my instrument cross country. Like any additional rating on your pilot's license, the instrument rating has a series of requirements. Aside from a written exam and a skills test, I have to complete a cross-country entirely following instrument flight rules. This cross-country must be a minimum of 250 nautical miles along airways and include three different types of instrument approaches. Today we've planned to fly to Lake Charles, Louisiana, where we'll do an ILS approach. From there we'll head back to Navasota near Houston and do a VOR approach before picking up the RNAV approach back into David Wayne Hooks. In total it's around 3 hours of flying time at a touch over 300 nautical miles. Before the flight I planned the route that we'd be taking today using Airways and Robert filed it using full flight. Now it was time to pick up my first ever IFR clearance. So at this airport ground and clearance delivery is the same, same frequency. So. Uh, we'll make our initial call and say Hooks Ground 919 Tango Charlie IFR to Dave Wayne Hooks. Okay. We're going to pick up our IFR clearance and then get everything set up. Once we have everything set up, then we'll get our taxi clearance. Okay, yep. Hooks Ground 919 Tango Charlie, ready to copy IFR clearance to David Wayne Hooks. November 919 Tango Charlie, Hooks Ground and clearance to clear it to Dave Wayne Hooks Airport via right of vectors to Dayzetta, Lake Charles, Dennis Fowl. Climb and maintain 2,000, expect 5,010 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 119.7, squawk 4653. The 919 Tango Charlie, clear to David Wayne, Hooks via radar vectors, Dysetta, Lake Charles, Dennis Fylde. Altitude 2,000, expect 5,000 at 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 119.7, squawk 4653, November 919 Tango Charlie. November 19 Tango Charlie, read back, correct. All right. All right. Nice. <laughs> First ever. First try. Uh, Ed Gill, ready to taxi. Oh, I okay. So, 4653-4653. There we go. So looking good. So we've got all the dies at Lake Charles, back to Hooks. Boom. Okay. Yep. We've got the score on 4653. We've got the, the route set. We've got our IFR clearance. We're ready to taxi. We are ready to taxi. And now everything else is the same. So 919 Tango Charlie, United with Information Golf, uh, ready to taxi. Cool. Of course, now you're not going to say VFR to the west. You're just ready to taxi. Okay, so let me just close that scratch pad and we'll open that one. Hello, Scram, never been 919 Tango Charlie at United with Golf, ready for taxi. November 919 Tango Charlie Hooks Ground Taxi to the Delta Ramp via Juliet Echo Papa. Delta Ramp via Juliet Echo Papa 919 Tango Charlie. All right, so the difference here, instead of saying holding short of 179 at Charlie, Charlie you're going to yeah, say holding uh, holding short of 179 at Charlie awaiting IFR release. Waiting can you IFR release. Plan to follow or you can say Archer, holding short. Yeah, I'm going to be in the number four IFR release. So that would be want to just let them know where you're at, where you're holding short at. Okay. Awesome, right? Just put Charlie and wait for IFR wait, wait release. Yep. Power of a 919 Tango Charlie, holding short, so what's up, right? So Charlie for IFR release. We're 919 or Tango Charlie Hooks Tower, good afternoon. Right turn heading 290, runway 17 right at Charlie. Clear for takeoff. Right, sound heading 290, right at Charlie, clear for takeoff, 919 second Charlie. 90. Oh, we're good. Oh, clear both ways, all good. Hey, how set. Best speed's alive. All right, he's going to give us the switch here in just a second, but if you want to get your foggles on. Okay. I have the flight yep, control. Yep, control for sight. Tango Charlie, you saw that traffic heading to your left in sight, departing to the northwest. Over here. In sight, Tango Charlie. Number 9, Tango Charlie, Roger. Contact Houston departure, 119.7. Over to departure, 1907, uh, 9, Tango Charlie. Mirror 39 Delta, traffic's passing you. Okay, microphones. All right, you have the flight controls, you have the radios. All right. 
Departure, November 919, Tango Charlie, 1,000, 100, climbing 2,000. Number 919, Tango Charlie, Houston, rear contact traffic. Off to your left, less than a mile, looks like you departed before you, indicating 1,300. Traffic is fine, line, Tango Charlie. Number 8, Mike X ray, descend to 2,000, fly heading to 090. 2,000, 0902, we don't get cleared into the Bravo because we're on an IFR flight. Flight plan, yeah. that's alright. Exactly. Airspace does not First really Victor Tango to avoid traffic, us. turn right of <laughs> right, turn heading of uh, 360. And Tango Charlie flight heading is 020. 020, 9 Tango Charlie. And Tango Charlie climb to 3000. Climb to 3000, 9 Tango Charlie. Eat my kick tray, uh, eat cross And now we just do what we're told. Cleared on yeah. air, one seven right, and you're 10 miles from Tufts. Tango Charlie, proceed to uh, Lake Charles. Straight Lake Charles, Mike. Tango Charlie, thank you. And Tango Charlie, traffic east of you, five miles southwest of the Cherokee. He'll be underneath you out there, too. How are we looking, Mike? Tango Charlie. All right, so Lake Charles. No. Just, uh, did he say Lake Charles VOR, no. or? He said Lake Charles, so. One okay. sec, let's verify. Seven nine one nine Tango Charlie, please could you confirm that it's Lake Charles VOR direct to rather than Lake Charles Airport? Uh, yes, for the VOR, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, 9 Charlie. That traffic, I told you about climbing to 25 now. Still looking, 9 Tucker Charlie. So this cross country is going to count as your long IFR cross country. Huh? Uh, November 3 Alpha Fox, Star Raider that one knocked contact, off the books. Uh, 8 from Alibi. Just have to focus on the ground school. Yeah. 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 Get that ground school Chicago knowledge uh, proficient. Uh, Once we have, have all your hours, we'll get you the check ride. I can't have this altitude. I'm down. Uh, I've, got a, I've got a question for you. Are you familiar with the autopilot that we have here? Uh, yes. Used it before. Hey, let's set not. it up. Why not? We're not allowed to, are we? Or can't we? Is who? We could. I'm not, we're not going to use it the entire flight, but okay. we can use it. All right, okay. Use all available resources we have available, right? So, all right, oh. okay. So we can do um, altitude. Uh, um, so arm it. So, so. You, so you first turn it on. Select your... Uh, so select nav mode. Sorry, say again. We're going to select nav. Yeah. And we're also going to select altitude. I called Houston, that was unreadable. Alright, nav and altitude, and then we arm it. Altitude, so now it's got altitude arm. Yeah. And let's see if the navigation is also armed. City for Cherokee. There we go. Boom. All right, that's it. Uh, All right. Now you've got a little bit of time to uh, gather your thoughts to make sure everything's set up properly. Uh, alpha room we went for. Go to sleep, get some rest for a bit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> let me know when we get to Lake Charles. Yeah. yeah, it's the same old stuff. Just let me know when you get the ATIS. It's Alpha. <laughs> this is our first class experience in GA. It's exactly, always first class. The ATIS. Exactly. We climbed up to 7,000 feet and continued heading east until we came across a band of weather right across our path. Uh, we have a couple options here, Noel. We can either de I'm sorry, I deviate miles. left or right to avoid the buildups, or we can go right through them. They're not going to be... To an airport or just a fine run. It is going to be bumpy when we go through them. It's going to be pretty bumpy because they are the bumpy type of clouds. Yeah. Okay. So if we want to avoid them, we can uh, just request about 20 to the left or 20 to the right. Probably 20 to the left would be better. Just away from that ammo. Uh, uh, Bye, three Rubble Rubble, welcome the yeah. happy altimeter 2992. Advise when you have information, Sierra. Although it, it is nice to get you some IMC, that we are going to get rocked around pretty good in those clouds. Okay. So now that I'm thinking about it, it might be better to just deviate. Yeah, deviate to the left. But, yeah. uh, we might be okay. It looks like it's, so it looks like we're probably going to be right to the left of them. Because okay. they're, they're moving down to the right right now, to the south. As we get a little closer, we can ask uh, for about 10 or 20 to the left. Number 919 Tango Charlie, request deviation 20 degrees to the left for weather. Number 919 Tango Charlie, deviation left and right approved, off of the unit. Deviation approved, okay, 9 Tango Charlie. Oh, how do you? Harbinger 1, traffic is south of you, currently about your 934 miles maneuvering, mode to indicate 3,000 feet. Uh, see, this is kind of building up and getting higher too. These ones yeah. aren't quite as high. Harbinger 1, roger, and back to your 4 o'clock, 2.5 to 3 miles, 1,600 feet indicated maneuvering. What was that? Uh, that was 20 to the left, right? Yeah. 
my flight path was taking us straight towards some clouds, so Robert let me take off my foggles for a couple of minutes to experience some actual IMC, and let me tell you the memories of flying on instruments in the UK soon came flooding back. In my opinion, there is nothing in aviation that can quite beat the experience of skimming through clouds just like this. Oh, no, that's cool. <laughs> that is. <laughs> Wow, I love instrument flying. God, look how much taller they've built up since we looked at it. I mean, they're, getting, they're, they're building so fast. Urban 919 Tango Charlie, thanks for the deviation. We're heading direct to Lake Charles now. Urban 919 Tango Charlie, thank you very much. And one way I like to keep up to date with aviation, both in the UK and here in the US, is by reading magazines, but you can't carry them all with you whenever you're traveling or anything like that. But that's where this week's video sponsor, Readly, comes in really handy. You see, they give you access to over 7,000 magazines, all from the comfort of your phone. Readly lets me read Pilot Magazine from the UK and Plane and Pilot Magazine here in the US, so I can see both sides, as well as over 7,000 magazines from all around the world. Get access to all of these magazines for just one monthly subscription. It actually works out less than one magazine used to cost me to subscribe from back in the UK before I started using Readly. And you don't just have aviation magazines either, there's magazines for everything from classic cars to modern woodworking and everything in between. But don't just take my word for it, Readly are offering you two months free when you use my link down in the description. Maybe you can read 7,000 magazines in two months or maybe just a couple is enough. Either way, Readly is a fantastic way to read on the go. We were soon finding ourselves heading towards some more clouds which again felt absolutely epic. Clouds like this really do make you feel incredibly insignificant when you're flying a plane. Well, there we go, proper IMC. This is IMC, just keep your eyes on those instruments. Oh, got them. It. It's good. It's good. Just watching that speed a bit, it's very soft, it's up at the of it. There's the rain. Wow, the temperature's dropped to 14 degrees. Uh, Traffic observe. All right, looks like it's going to put us into this one right here as well. Yeah. We're more or less staying on course. We're rocking the wind. We're five, four, five, seven, Bravo. You can maintain up to your discretion. Cleared into the Bravo. No, just skip that one. That was one in front of us, though, isn't there? Yep. Number 919 or Tango Charlie, contact Lake Charles approach, 119.8, have a nice day. 119819, 919, Tango Charlie, thanks for the help. Build it. Lake Charles approach, good afternoon, and then 919, Tango Charlie, 7000. 919 or Tango Charlie, Lake Charles approach, enter, it's going to maintain 3000. It's going to maintain 3000, 919, Tango Charlie. At this point we decided to modify our flight plan to land at Lake Charles and stretch our legs for a few minutes rather than just doing a touch and go so we could stretch our legs and file a fresh flight plan back to Hooks. Approach number 919 Tango Charlie, we'd like to modify our flight plan if possible and that means the destination Lake Charles. Sky 9 Tango Charlie, roger. And there we go, as easy as that. Success 9 Tango Charlie, turn left heading 080 vector for the ILS runway 15. Heading 080, thanks to the ILS runway 15, Charlie. That's how you do it. Uh, that's it. So with our approach planned, it was time to start briefing the approach down into Lake Charles. So we're going to be coming here, we're heading over 52 on the approach. Minimum, uh, so we're descent to 1,600, but they're going to tell better descent as we get closer because we've got radar vectors. Uh, minimums for this approach will be 212 feet, which is about ATV AGL. Helicopter 6 Papa Alpha contact, Pulse okay. Approach 1230. Um, on the event, we're on a go around, we climb ahead to 1,000 feet, climbing left down to 2,000 feet, direct to Lee Charles VOR. We've got set as our backup VOR on here, but it's out of service anyway, so we're going to... Okay, so 24 miles. Take the autopilot off now, I think we're going to be around clouds, aren't we? So, one is a minute. There we go, thank you. Alright, we can turn the pitot heat off now. That's coming off. 
All right, this is where the fun begins. Okay, we got, let's do this. All right, so we've got our weather. We've got our instruments set up. Approach is loaded, not activated. So we'll have to okay. activate the approach and then we'll have to identify that uh, ILS frequency. Yep, so we've got a one time frequency program in here. Yep, radio. 24.7. 120.7 is set, um, and then we've done the an environment, which well, we've done the briefing already, already yep. so we're, we're good to go. Yep, we've already briefed it, so we're being radar vectored in for the ILS. Uh, let's see, 212 is our decision altitude. Radar 44 November Charlie, Lake Charles Approach, Squawk 0422. That's set in here as well. And if we have to go missed, climb 1000, left turn to 2000. Left climbing turn to 2000. To the Lake Charles VOR. Up Lake Charles VOR in a hold and looks the like hold, that so would be a uh, parallel entry into the hold. Oh no, teardrop. We could do a teardrop entry there, couldn't we? Left it. Uh, yep, you could do the VOR. Radar 4 over Charlie, radar contact, make sure you didn't right one five. And what we'll do, we'll go to the general aviation ramp. I'll let you change out your battery. I'm gonna run inside and grab an ice cream if you want to grab one too, hey. more than welcome to. <laughs> I've got really good ice cream there, man. So every student I bring to this airport, I always stop and get ice cream because it's there we go. they've got the high end stuff like the Hagen Dazs and just the really good ice cream. That's the Niner Tango Charlie. It's gonna maintain 2000. It's gonna maintain 2000, Niner Tango Charlie. Uh, whatever it is, it is out 2000. And uh, we can activate the approach once we're cleared, or we can activate it now. There's really no regulation on when to activate it. We already okay. know we're being right. Our oh, I'm going to activate it then. Uh -huh. So I'm going to go to proceed. Let's go to procedure. There you go. Activate. Vector to vector final. final. There we go. Listen, I don't take Charlie. Turn left, heading zero seven zero. Left heading zero seven zero. I'm okay, Charlie. Right, so now, is this the first ILS that you've done yet? Uh, it's been in the UK. Okay, in the UK, okay. Uh, they're now closed Doncaster Airport. In the UK, you have to book in to get to a practice ILS. You have to book they, into it? Yeah, you have to call by phone and book in, book a slot. What? And they only let you do like, they only do a certain number of days depending on staffing. If you're not quick in the morning, you don't get your slot, so you don't oh, get to practice man, it. Oh man, that's it's horrible. Yeah. You can just call up and ask for one over the radio. Yeah. Wow, I did not know that. Uh, it's ridiculous. Yeah, you know, we're, we're so fortunate to have the aviation uh, atmosphere and the environment, the, right. the infrastructure that we have here Absolutely. in the United States. Yeah. I mean, there's just so much freedom that is allowed to you as a general aviation pilot yeah. to do what you want exactly. to do. Exactly, yeah. It's, don't you notice it? When you come from the UK, you really notice that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, so we're starting to get pretty close to that final approach, Vic, so let's focus on flying the airplane and navigating. Okay, I'm not actually heard him in a while. Again? I'm not heard him talking to us in a while. Oh, we have a one more side of plane. That's the Niner Tango, Charlie. Four miles from Sitka, turn right, heading 120, maintain 1,600 till established on the localizer, cleared ILS runway 15 approach. Right, heading 120, 1,600 till established, clear for the ILS runway 15 approach, Niner Tango, Charlie. I was just saying, I haven't heard him in a while, so I was starting to panic. Yeah. Alright, there's our uh, a final approach. Uh, turn right. Oh, it's, above, it's above us at the minute, so we need to stay at 1600. Comes down to us. We'll stay at 16. Looks like uh, I can see the glide slope triangle there, but it's not alive yet. Oh. Okay, just a quick final check. Brakes off on the courage down mixture switch. Fuel was set. Instrument's good. Uh, RP, we don't have. Hatches harness is all secure. I'm just doing that now because. Oh, let's get that landing, landing, landing light on as well. We'll get that on now. There we go. Okay, glide slope is starting to come along. Third Niner Tango Charlie, contact tower 120.7. Tower 120.7, Niner Tango Charlie. Tower 120.7, Niner Tango Tower number 919 Tango Charlie, inbound on the ILS runway 15. Tower number 919 Tango Charlie, Lake Charles Tower, runway 15, clear to land. Runway 15, clear to land, 919 Tango Charlie. Okay, the ground control is going to set, that's 121.8. What's that? Uh, Tower number 919 
There it is. Alright, there's Glad Slope Intercept. Minimum. Minimum. Oh shit, there we go. There we are. <laughs> All right over the runway. Nice. That one area I'm still working on with each instrument landing is that I find myself coming down the approach a little bit quick. When I take the foggles off to land the plane at 200 feet above the runway, there's barely any time to slow down the aircraft, especially in the Cessna 172 floater plane that will float down the runway if you're not careful. Number 9019 or Tango Charlie, uh, turn left at uh, taxiway Delta, taxi to parking via Delta Echo Alpha Fox at this frequency. Left at the Delta and Delta Echo Fox for Alpha remain on this frequency 9. Welcome to Lake Charles, Louisiana. Leg one of the cross country done. We're gonna stop here, get some ice cream because apparently the ice cream is good here, and then we're gonna head back towards the Houston area. Let's go. Lake Charles is a really cool little airport, and yes, Robert was right. The ice cream here is absolutely amazing. They've got a freezer full of all different sorts of ice cream that you can grab while you're waiting for your next flight. While we were on the ground, we filed our return flight plan and then jumped back in 919 Tango Charlie to fly back to the Houston area. It was another absolutely beautiful flight and we did the VOR Alpha approach into Navasota Airport, followed by the RNAV approach back into David Wayne Hooks. And once again, I came in really fast for my landing at David Wayne Hooks. That is really something that I've got to work on. But that being said, I've almost finished my instrument training now. I'm almost there on the hours. I've just got to do the ground school and get that ground exam done before I do my skills test, hopefully in the next couple of months. So IFR cross country element is done back here on the ground at Hooks. It's been a hot, long, hot afternoon. Time to go home and get a beer or something and try and cool, cool off a little bit, I think. And thank you so much for watching, as always. Really do appreciate it. Let me know what you think of this video and, of course, all my other videos down in the comments. So stay tuned to watch more of my instrument rating progress as I go forward towards my instrument rating. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time back in the skies.